Hey again guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a makeup video, so I kind of thought, why not just do one today? This is my new setup, this is my new arrangement. I did a video, I think it was my previous video, sorry, no, I did a gaming video. So a couple of videos before that, I did a setting up my vanity, my makeup vanity. Um, so you guys would have seen all of my drawers and my makeup and setting all that up. So, But if you haven't already, I'll put a card up in the corner and put it down below and also to play after this video if you want to watch it. But today I thought it'd be good just to do a makeup video. I've got no idea what I'm going to do with my face. Um, might be just a mixture of things. I might just do a bit of an everyday kind of look. But um, yeah, I miss filming makeup videos. So we're going to do one today. So we'll get in on into it. Okay, so now I've scooted you guys a little bit closer. I'm going to be going in with my usual Urban Decay Original Primer Potion to prime my eyes. And then I just blend this in using my finger. My makeup routine hasn't really changed over the years. I basically just do the same. So if you've been watching me for a while, you'll know this is just the same old, same old. I'm then going to be taking my Huda Beauty setting powder and just taking a bit into the cap on a brush and just setting my primer on the eyes. So there I've got the setting powder on the brush, off the excess, and then go on my lid. Now, I kind of just felt a bit inspired since like the beginning of the video, but I want to do like a purple, a dark purple, sort of pink smoky eye. No idea how that's going to turn out. Might be completely trash, but that's the beauty of makeup. We'll just go with it. So I'm going to be using the Lisa Frank and Morphe collaboration. Um, it's this beautiful rainbow palette, as you can see. I'm going to be using this dark purple here um, and maybe blending it with the light. Sorry, I'm not that wrong. I'm going to be using this dark purple here, maybe going with a lighter purple and then blending in with a pink from another shadow palette. I'm going to be taking my Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. This is what I use all the time for my eyeshadows. Um, I love this brush. There could be other ones out there, but I've just always relied on this Zoeva one. So I'm just going to be taking that in the darker purple and swirling it around. Nice big coating there, tap off the excess, and I'm going to go in on my outer lid. So I'm going to be just taking that and possibly popping it on my outer lid on a bit of an angle. Don't know what the angle is yet, but we'll go with that. And then fluffing it up into the crease. Yeah, that's better. And it depends on what techniques work for you guys. Um, I know a lot of people's techniques don't work for me. Um, my brushes don't work the way other people's do. My hands don't work like other people's do. So it's just a matter of really finding your own technique. Like I'm doing a mixture of like sweeping, like pushing and patting at the same time. Um, that tends to be my technique for a lot of things um, to do with my eyeshadows. So I don't know really what look I'm going for. I'm just sweeping and patting. Um, I don't know if you can see. But it's sort of like a triangle sort of moment. And we're going to do that for the other eye. So I'm just going to pack a little bit more up in here where it seems to be a bit bare and bring it up here a little bit more. And I'm going to be taking the same brush with no powder on it, um, the Luxe Petite Crease Brush and I'm just going to be going in with this lighter purple. And I'm just going to be dragging that through the dark a bit and a bit more towards the front and blending it in a little bit better. And doing 
the same for the other eye. Okay, I've decided I'm not going to be doing a purple and pink moment. I'm going to be doing a purple and sort of a silvery blue moment. Could have been not really weird. I'm going to be cutting my crease, but I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Mercury Retro Grey palette. And this palette is just stunning. Like, look at that. Anyway, I'm going to be cutting my crease and then using this sort of blue metallic shimmery shade. It's like a deep silver on my lips. So I'm going to be cutting my crease. I'm using the Benefit Boing Concealer. You can use any concealer. And I'm using my Zoeva 325 Luxe Brow Light. It's just a sort of flat packer brush. Um, you just take the concealer. You put it on the end of the brush. And then you just go on your lid. And then the other side. Now we're looking crazy. I'm now going to the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette, which this palette is just stunning. I'm going to be using that deep sort of silver shade. I'm going to be taking the same brush that I did my cut crease with, but sort of the other side. Um, and I'm just going to be sweeping into it, coating my brush like so, and then going in on my lids. Whoa. You can really use your fingers if you want. Sometimes your fingers works better, but sometimes a flat packer brush works really well too. Hey. Yeah, I don't really know what possessed me to want to do sparkles like that but um I like it because now I've got a bunch of sparkles beneath my eye and I don't know how I'm gonna get off it's the only problem with glitter it just goes everywhere now to finish off the eyes I'm just gonna be going in with like a white or neutral sort of shade and just going above my brow bone with a uh, just a fluffy brush but this is my Morphe M330 brush so just taking it and going above the brow bone the color Back and forth, just to blend it. Now for my brows, I'm using the Benefit Brow Styler. I'm in the shade 3. I'm quite out of it at the moment. I just lightly fill in where I've got some gaps. So, on this side of the brow. Got some gaps. And then... Through there. I then use my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I just comb that. Then go on my spoolie. And just brush them out. I feel like this look requires some eyeliner. Um, however, I am very terrible with eyeliner, so this could be a rest in peace moment. But I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Eyeliner. It's a lovely little felt tip. We're just going to be going like so that didn't turn out as terrible I thought now I've got to match the other side Okay, so now I'm pretty much done with the eyes. I'm moving on to the rest of the face. Um, I usually use a primer to begin with. I'm kind of out of my primers right now and mortgage life. I can't really afford to be going and getting more stuff. So I'm just going to be using this. It's like a, I can, I use this as a primer as well, but it's the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. So I'm just going to do a light mist over my face. Pan it off a little bit. Then going to be taking my concealer just to cover up my said blemishes at the moment because stressful times and too much chocolate equals pimples. So I'm just going to be using the Benefit Boing Concealer again, wiping off the excess 
on the on the cap and just really dotting over where they are do my T section kinda I look like I'm at Coachella and then taking a damp beauty blender which I've already wet I'm just going to be blending these in a lot of people just bounce I can't just bounce I need to like sweep as well and drag you're not meant to you're not meant to move your skin you're meant to just simply bounce it this is gonna be the side with all the glitter so excuse if you can see some shimmery mess happening I didn't mention the shade in concealer but I'm in the shade number one. I am now going to be going in with my foundation and my trusty all-time favourite is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I got a pump, extra pump with it. Uh, and I'm in the shade oh, 1C1 Cool Bone. Now I do it in sections. So I start with the foundation on the inside of my face and then blend it out because you want the most coverage towards the center of your face. I do, I blend my concealer under my eye but then I get like a side that doesn't have any and I just gently sort of, because I find if I do it with just the foundation it'll set into my fine lines a bit too much. So if I bring it out a bit with just nothing on the blender tends to work a bit better. I must say I am loving being in our house. Um, it is very, very exciting. I've never moved out before, so I was definitely a little bit homesick for the first couple of weeks. Um, as much as my mum and dad, um, you know, they're not too far away from where I am now, which is really good. So I'm still close by, you know, but it's different, it is different. But I really do enjoy you know, being in our own space, having our own space, and we're just so proud of what we've built and achieved because we got in at the right time. The market's just absolutely gone insane for first time builders, buyers, and it's extremely hard for people, you know, for first time buyers to get a house, and um, it's just ridiculously hard. Uh, prices are insane, um, you know. The next subdivision over from where we are, like the second or the final subdivision in our area, is going like way above what we paid for ours. And we're just like incredibly lucky that we got ours for the price that we did and at the right time. Before I set my face, I'm going to be going with a cream blush. I just want to show you this Natasha Denona um, highlight and blush, cream blush kit, like duo. It's incredible. So you got the highlighter and then the cream blush. Absolutely beautiful color. So I just go in with my finger, swirl a bit around on my, oh, sorry, I pat really. I pat, get some on my finger, and then Take my finger and sort of swipe it where I kind of want it and it does look very intense to begin with but don't worry we will blend it out. Same scenario on the other side. You sort of buff it out with your finger a little bit. Not too much because you don't want to drag away the foundation on your face. You then take your beauty blender that has the foundation on it still and lightly pat over it so just blending it more or less and I love this blush because it just gives your cheeks such a nice little little moment it's cute then again taking my Huda Beauty um, baking setting powder I'm in the shade cupcake um, and just setting my entire face with a fluffy brush
Now that my face is set, I'm just going to be taking my Zoeva Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush 127. I use this for a bronzer, bu bronzer brush. It's just a lovely tapered kind of brush. I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Milk Soleil bronzer I haven't used in a while and it still smells like chocolate. So I'm just going back and forth in there, tapping off the excess and going along my cheekbone. I'm then just taking this uh, Mecca Cosmetica, it's just like a fluffy highlighter brush. I'm taking that highlight that was in that Natasha Denona Love Cheek Duo. I'll give you the colours, it's the cream blush is in shade pink coral and the uh, highlight is pink and golden champagne. So I'm just going to be taking that going down. Popping off the excess, following my cheekbone, on the nose, and keep it though. I'm also just going to be taking the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer Brush, and again going in with that highlight powder and just going on my brow bone. Now that we're basically all set before I do mascara, I'm just going to be setting my face. Um, again, using the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Fan it off. And then also take the bottom of the damp beauty blender and just bounce in any liquid, any remaining droplets I've got on my face. It just helps dissolve the makeup in together. And for mascara, I'm just using, at the moment, I'm just grabbing any random mascara, but at the moment I'm using the Lancome Noir Hypnotic Mascara. I just basically have a bunch of trial size ones that I'm trying to use up. nice hot pink lip would go really well with this so it's kind of like a lip liner i'm going to be using this nars let's go crazy velvet nap velvet matte lip pencil just looks like so and because i have uneven lips i don't know if you guys can see i didn't line them any differently my top lip here Peaks a little bit higher than this side, so I've got to slightly overdraw this one. I'm then going to be using the MAC lipstick in Candy Yum Yum to finish it off. This beautiful hot pink Barbie colour. And there we have it, guys. The completed look. Very different. Oh, falling off a chair. Very different than I thought it was going to turn out. I had no idea what I was doing at the beginning of this video. It's been so long since I filmed one. I felt a little bit out of my comfort zone to be honest, but I'm so happy to be back in it. Um, I'm loving this actually, and the pink bold lip just really hits a note. I'm just going to turn the brightness down for you guys. So I just turned the brightness down, but. The dark purple eyeshadow with the sort of bluey silver lid and the eyeliner. I'm really impressed with the eyeliner considering how bad I am at it. Under pressure I might work well, who knows. This is quite a glam look. I thought it was going to be my everyday makeup look, but no. It turns out it was much more glam than I thought it was going to be, which is fine. Nothing wrong with a bit of glam. We, we love a bit of glam. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, as I was saying, I'm, we're so happy to be in our new house. I'm so happy to have my beautiful pink wall, my beautiful mirror, my makeup vanity, my drawers. Um, I don't know if you can see in the mirror behind me, but Bratz Dolls launched like a... It was 20 years since Bratz came out, the dolls. And they did like this special anniversary thing 
where they brought out the original four dolls, Jade, Chloe, Yasmin and Sasha. Um, they sort of redid them just like a special little moment. So I've got them displayed along there. Um, I don't know if you can see that clearly or not, but I've put a photo. I'm going to put a photo up on my Instagram of them because they're just so, so cute. But yeah, guys, it's so great to be in a house of our own, have our own space, have my own room to film and do things, play games. I'm going to hopefully start streaming soon. I've sort of set that up. It all looks very scary, but we'll get there. Baby steps, baby steps. But I'm just, I just really felt like talking to you guys today and having a video. Sorry it wasn't that much of a chit chat, like an update life kind of scenario. I'm hoping to do many more videos soon, guys. Um, we're still sort of organizing a couple of things at the house and just different bits and pieces. So hopefully um, I can get a bit more of a schedule happening soon. I still, yeah, it's still a bit in the works, but they should be coming more regularly than they were. So that's something to look forward to. Thank you so much again for watching today, guys. I really enjoyed doing makeup today. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I hope you guys are well, um, keeping positive. And if things in life suck right now, just take a deep breath. We can get through this together. But I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys.